Nutrition. Hey YouTube, Doc Nutrition eighty four here for the Goat Format Tournament Report. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, as you saw, I took Doc Magician. Um, uh, despite fear of him being banished, or I'm sorry, removed from play by the likes of BLS, Chaos Sorcerer, Bottomless, DD Warrior, Lady DD Warrior, DD Assailant, and um, Kaiku. <clears throat> but thankfully, that didn't come up, especially since I only summoned Dark Magician once throughout the entire tournament. Um, there was one moment in one of the games where I could have summoned him, but, um, actually twice, but I was just really afraid that, um, I might run into a bottomless, um, of course that didn't happen, um, um, so I wonder if, um, maybe if I didn't, wasn't so hesitant, maybe things would have been different, I don't know, um, but I am uh, kicking myself over um, at the mistake I made against Jude, but I'll get to that in a moment. So, um, played against Bernardo round one, um, yeah, that was, uh, it was a pretty evenly matched game. Um, it's just unfortunate that I couldn't do much against, um, Max, um, I mean, what can I say, he just, yeah, he had the nuts, he had more plays to work with, um, Heavy Storm just ruined me, um, <clears throat> which is something I was fearing, um, but I only had four, those four back rows, because, um, he had a back row, so I, I didn't think he'd drop Heavy Storm with a back row, but he did, um, and it was just hard to recover, I guess, <clears throat> um, and then I got paired against Jude, finally, um, uh, it's like, just, why? Why do I get paired against him now, when my revenge conquest is over? Um, <clears throat> typical. Uh, I was doing so well. Like, um, like I had Reaper stuck in attack mode, uh, which I could just keep attacking with uh, Thousand Eyes. Um, so annoyed with myself that I messed up with Old Vindictive Magician, like, I should have popped the Reaper, um, I guess in the heat of, of the moment, I just forgot that Val, um, it, it was only paralysed because of Thousand Eyes Restrict, and then he was like, oh cool, I can attack with him now, um, I, mean, I don't think I lost anything too vital from my hand, thankfully. Well, well, I think it was Dark Magician that got ripped. I'm not saying he's vital or anything. Um, he, he absolutely is. Um, and it's not so bad if Dark Magician is discarded, because I can use Premature Burial or Call of the Haunted to bring him back. Um, and I did get the chance to, and then he got blasted by lightning vortex. Um, it's just annoying. Um, it, uh, if I'd have popped the spirit reaper instead, maybe things would have been different. Um, I think, I'm trying to remember if I had smashing ground, because I could have got rid of it anyway. Um, well, who knows? So, yeah, unfortunately, um, yeah, everything went downhill after round one, started great, and then just 
lost everything else after that. Um, but I did finish fifth out of uh, a six-person tournament. Yeah, only six people participated in this one. Me, Bernardo, Max, um, Jude, uh, Reese, you know, the, the Gravekeeper guy, and uh, Jack, um, the guy who played the Time Thief Sioux Ship deck um, the other month against me. Um, and uh, Reese won the whole thing with Grave Keepers. As, yeah, they were a thing back then. Um, and uh, Jack was playing um, a Convulsion of Nature burn deck of some kind. Um, I mean, I was familiar with the whole combo of that and Archfiend's Oath, um, but um, other than that I didn't really fully know how it worked. Um, I know it involves some burn stuff. Um, and yeah, uh, that deck and the Grave Keepers um, how do I put this? Um, it did cause some annoyance, I guess. Um, uh, I guess I'm just thankful that I avoided both of them. Mind you, though, um, I think I'd have been alright, because um, I did actually make a side deck for the event, despite the fact that I kind of lost faith in side decking. But I wanted to make one just in case, because um, uh, I was trying to... Uh, well, I wasn't going to make one at first because I didn't think I'd need one, but then I thought, hmm, what are the odds that someone's going to play a generic burn deck? Um, I mean, technically someone did. Um, although I didn't want to deal with Gravekeepers, um, I had cards in this side deck to prepare for them. Um, oh yeah, and... Um, yeah, I made a burn deck to spec a burn deck, a side deck. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. To specifically counter burn, uh, didn't get to use anything from it. Um, but that was okay. Um, I'll grave keep that gravekeeper deck does have a burn card in gravekeeper's curse. Um, and um, I think all I'd need is this, Des Wombat, which uh, makes any burn damage become zero. Yeah, um, unless they have some form of monster removal, uh, they just auto lose to this. Um, plus, I had a cheeky side card ready for uh, Necro Valley. Curse Seal of the Forbidden Spell. Um, so provided the matchup happened, and um, I went first, um, yeah, if I got a chance to use this to negate Necro Valley, the deck's dead. I mean, what are Gravekeepers going to do without Necro Valley? But of course I didn't get the matchup. Um, so, um, it was fine. Um, Uh, I feel like I definitely got the more fun decks, that's for sure. Um, yeah, Chaos, Goat Control, and um, Reasoning Gate. Yeah, I do like <laughs> Jute's Goat deck. Um, that was... Um, I think it was the coolest one there. <laughs> uh, well alongside mine, because Dark Magician. <laughs> um, uh, um, yeah, even though I didn't do that well, it was a lot of fun, and um, I'll definitely come back for the next one. Um, I'll probably play Dark Paladin next time, maybe. 
Um, I do also have my Elemental Hero Goat deck, but um, but I don't know about running that. It's, I don't feel confident that I do well with it, but um, but you never know. I mean, I guess maybe I could. Um, just because I can, uh, just to see how I do with it, for the lols. Um, of course, if I do play it, and Gravekeepers are played again, um, it might not... Actually, would it? I was going to say it might not hurt Elemental Heroes that much, because I don't have Miracle Fusion. But I do have Dark Factory of Mass Production. So, um, yeah, Necro Valley would turn that off, um, which would be a problem. Well, we'll see. Um, I don't know when the next GOAT tournament will happen. Um, it won't be next month, because um, that's when the next Edison tournament should be. Um, sort of debating whether or not to play in that, so maybe the next GOAT one will be in August? I don't know, we'll have to see. Um, and yeah, that's it for this report. Thanks for watching, stay safe, and I'll catch you guys later. See ya. Thank you very much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to the Dark Magician YouTube channel.